Hello, this is a demonstration on how to add custom bones to your AutoRig Pro Rig. I've made a similar video in the past, but now with Blender 4 we have bone collections, so I've decided to create a new video. Okay, so uh, let's start. Let's first create a rig. I'm using the AutoRig Pro Rig Library. It's a Blender add-on that you can get on Blender Market, uh, and it comes with 24 rig presets, so that's uh, cool. Um, I'm gonna go with the human. My idea is to create a custom bone that's parented to the hand bone and it can be used as a prop bone for weapons or any other type of prop. Uh, okay, so let's first go into edit reference bones mode. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is uh, place the 3D cursor at the position of this hand bone. So I'm going to press Shift S for snapping, cursor to select it. And that way, when I create a custom bone, it gets uh, automatically placed at this position of the 3D cursor. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, make sure that the correct bone collection is active. And for that, I go to the properties editor. And here we have the bone collections, which are new in Blender 4. And I'm going to click on the reference bone collection. So when I add a custom bone, it will automatically uh, get assigned to this bone collection. Okay, let's now add the custom bone. I'm going to press Shift A. And there we have the bone. It's, it's really big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And um, the cool thing to know is when, when I press Match to Rig in, in the AutoRig Pro add-on, this custom bone will also automatically get gets uh, get assigned to this de deform bone collection. So let's do that. Press Match to Rig. Back to Edit Reference Bones. When I select the, the custom bone, you can see uh, here with the small dot to the left of the bone collection indicating that it's uh, assigned both to the reference bone collection and the deform bone collection. You might have noticed that when I pressed uh, match to rig that the custom bone disappeared as I can show you. But it's not, it hasn't really disappeared. The thing is that when you press match to rig in other rig pro, uh, the main and secondary bone collections are made visible and all the other bone collections including the deform and the reference bone collections are made invisible. Um, in order to prevent our custom bone from becoming uh, 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 invisible after pressing match to rig, we're also gonna assign it to either the main or the secondary bone collection. So let's do that. Let's select the custom bone and I'm gonna assign it to the secondary bone collection. And now when I press match to rig, it's still visible. Okay, the next thing is that we want to parent it to uh, the hand bone because right now when I move the hand it doesn't follow along uh, and I always like to parent my custom bones only to deform bones and the reason for that is I want my rigs to be game engine compatible because uh, only deform bones get uh, get exported to game engines like Unreal or Unity so uh, that's the reason why I do that um, so let's do that come into edit reference bones and right now we see the reference bone collection, but I want to see the deform bone collection because I want to parent my custom bone to the hand deforming bone. So I'm pressing my custom bone, shift select the hand bone, control P for parenting, keep offset. And now when I press match to rig, the custom bone follows along. Okay, a final thing we need to do is tag our custom bone as a, as a custom bone within the AutoRig Pro system. That, that way this, uh, the AutoRig Pro recognizes it as a custom bone and includes it when exporting it to a game engine. So um, select the bone, um, go to the AutoRig Pro export uh, options and click on set custom bones. Um, we can double check if it worked by going to the bone properties with the bone selected. We open up the custom properties and here we can see that this custom bone tag has, uh, has been added to the bone. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope it was clear, but if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on the product page of Auto Rig Pro Rig Library. It's on Blender Market. Thank you so much.